Hello there, Cancer. I'm Michelle B. I am an energy healer and energy reader, and I have a tarot reading for you today, plucked straight from the divine, from your higher self, from your guides, your guardian angels, from the universe. These are messages that are intended to keep you in alignment with the purpose that you set out for when you came into your physical body. When we're in alignment with that purpose, our, li our lives <laughs> move so much smoother. It's so much easier. We live in abundance and we feel really, really good about what we're doing. Whenever you get these mess messages, that's when you are meant to hear it. Open your mind, open your heart. They might be for you. They might be for somebody that you love as well. So let's go ahead and get started with what to embrace, what to bring into your life, what to hold on to going into the future and what to let go, what to release. And then finally, some special messages from that your higher self. And then we're going to have an affirmation for you going forward. So here we go. We've got Queen of Swords, Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. I love that. And Temperance. I like all of these major arcana going forward. This is, has to do with real alignment with your purpose, but some of it has to do with allowing your that detachment from the ego, from that survival mechanism. The sense of survival is what you, uh, when, when you came into your physical body, we've got this like evolutionary physical body that just wants to hang on to the comfort and security of being in connection with others. And with that nine of swords, I'm really feeling like there's, we've also got this queen of swords as well. I'm gonna show, show them both to you right here. And it's like, this is, this is an entity, a person that was born into a physical body and a family or an environment where they were taught that they had to depend on the opinions and, um, and generosity of others, even if it's just emotional generosity, in order to feel safe and secure. And I'm really sensing that there's, you're coming to a point Cancer, where you want to pivot away from what other people think in order to, you're realizing that it's not working for you, depending on whether or not you're making other people happy, it's not working for you. And instead you're, you're saying, what is my path? Who am I if I'm not making other people happy? If I'm not depending on them for the security that I need to feel safe? So instead, you're like, as you pivot away from others, it's this cold, empty feeling. And it's time for healing. And whenever the Nine of Swords comes up, it's saying to me that you're, instead of crying and being lonely and scared all on your own, you're turning those tears into prayers and asking the divine for guidance going forward. What, who am I asking? Who am I? I am not the people in my environment. I am not the circumstances that I'm in at this point. I am this entity that is part of the whole, part of the universe. And when you do that, all this healing comes pouring in. That's what temperance is all about. It's about healing and balance and feeling just whole. And when, when we have the wheel of fortune here, it's saying to me that there's a pivot, a, a shift that's happening in your life from one way of being to another. So instead of being outwardly, outwardly focused as you have been all for probably your whole life, and it's, this is not your fault, Cancer. This is the circumstances that we were, were born into. We're on an evolution of a spiritual evolution, a psychological evolution from the environment that we grew up into. And, and as we're, you know, growing and maturing, we evolve from where we came from into something better. Okay. So instead of pivoting, er, instead of being outwardly focused, you're pivoting toward what's going on inside of you. And this is so beautiful. We'll see. <laughs> time's, time's getting away from me. I want to look at real quick what to leave behind. And see, we've got that three of cups here that's, that's saying, I'm leaving behind feeling like I need to make other people happy in order to, in order to be okay. So, and, and it's instead of like, I've got to 
participate in environments that aren't really good for me, I'm turning back toward, in order to feel secure, right? In order to feel loved, and in order to feel liked. I'm really getting this like partying nightlife kind of environment. Even if it isn't that you're, you know, having dependency issues, it's, it's just in an environment that's a little bit more fast paced than you'd like it to be. Instead, you're pivoting toward that queen of pentacles, which is health and security in just being still and waiting for things to come toward you. Um, the sun, the sun is, is, this is you, I, I can see you like just laying in the grass on a blanket in the sun, literally on your own and just being cool with that. Not like looking at your phone, wondering what other people are doing. You're like, you know, I'm just cool with just being here in nature, being, you know, in a meditative space, working on my own body taking really good care of myself, reading books, soaking in the bathtub, just doing my own thing, it feels really good. So it's releasing the need to check in on what other people are doing. And that is a really, really good thing. The chariot is indicating an, an understanding that just because things are moving slowly, it doesn't mean that you're not still progressing. There are times for quick movement and there are times for rest and I feel like this is a time right now that's a lot more focused on in, inner work and rest and quietness but it doesn't mean that you're not progressing it's still progressing it's just in a quiet subtle way okay so final messages yay we got through that <laughs> oh my goodness final messages from the universe from your higher self from your guardian angels we've got two <laughs> we've got two king of swords here and we've also had that queen of swords when, in what we're going to be embracing i'm really sensing the message that's coming in is that you know the answers for yourself and it might be in opposition with the opinions and attitudes of the people that you surround yourself with currently it might be in opposition to your family environment I know that, that, that Cancerians really want to have a good connection with their family, whether that be, uh, uh, you know, your, your, your standard nuclear family or whether that be friends that have become family. We want to have a great connection with them. We want to, it's not like, it's like, I just want to make them happy all the time. It's that I want to have something in common with them. And I want, I want them to enjoy my company and I want to enjoy their company. But that King of Swords is a solo, he's a solo guy. <laughs> uh, whether you identify as masculine or feminine, we have both aspects within us. And it's like, you know, I'm going to do my own thing. This is the Maverick, essentially. Um, it's like, I'm going to do my own thing and I'm going to depend on my own opinion of myself rather than the opinions of what other people think. And it's also, if you're in a situation, Cancer, where you feel like you're being pressured by someone else, by the opinions of someone else, this is a, a, an indication that with, that with that high priestess, it's an indication that you are, your higher self is already telling you what you need to know. And so that, that King of Swords with those, with his, excellent boundaries is saying no I know what's best for me just because I don't agree with you and just because I do whatever I want to do it doesn't make me a bad person I'm still cool so this this uh two of pentacles here is indicating it like a, like trying to juggle it's a person that's trying to juggle um, the satisfaction of themselves of their higher selves but also what other people want from them they say no more juggling you will be you will feel so much better when you let one of those pentacles go when you let when you particularly the opinion of someone else the uh, the attitudes of other people when you just align with you you will feel so much better you won't have to be dancing for other people so quit dancing <laughs> unless it's dancing just for you <laughs> Uh, dance just for you. Yes, dance in the sun. <laughs> dance in the sun, my dear. But don't do it for other people. Don't do it for what they want. Our final message. 
I trust my instincts and make decisions with confidence. Okay, your instincts have already been telling you what you need to know. Your instincts are already right on track. And just because someone else feels in a different way doesn't mean that you have to listen to them. It might not be that they're trying to control you. It might be that you are controlling yourself in order to please them and that they won't actually even care when you decide to do your own thing. They might be a little bit taken aback at first, but then they'll get used to it and they'll get over it. Cancer, if you loved this reading, make sure you hit the subscribe button and give it, give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna work with me, my email is in the description box below for an energy healing or for a private tarot reading of your own. And with that, I'm gonna see you later. Next time, Cancer. Bye.